Welcome back to Ever Disney Movie Ever. My name is Justin. I'm watching Ever Disney Movie Ever. Today I'm going to talk about Kronk's New Groove. Kronk's New Groove is a 2005 directed video release. It's directed by Saul Blinkoff and Elliot M. Bauer. Animation direction by Dante Clemente and Russ Mooney. Editing by Philip Malamuth and Arthur D. Noda. Music by Mark Waters and it's written by Tom Rogers. The film stars Patrick Warburton as Kronk, John Fiedler as Rudy, Tracy Ullman as Ms. Birdwell, David Spade as Cusco, and Eartha Kitt as Yzma. This is a 0% on Rotten Tomatoes, and the consensus is disjointed humor that's meant for parents. Animation looks good. Definitely not as good as the first one, I don't think, but like really passable for sure. You know how I keep saying like there's been trash direct-to-video release animation, and then there's been like direct-to-video release animation that definitely holds up like Lion King 2 and Lilo and Stitch 2. Um, this would, I think, be in those categories. The True To Your Groove opening song was great. I need to download that. I love the message of that song. I also thought it was a bop. Maybe not as much of a bop as Cusco's, <laughs> but definitely still a great song. And then this is partially a musical because Yzma had a song which I thought was really interesting, but no one else has a song. Let's Groove Tonight is in it, and then obviously also the Trudy Groove opening song is in it, but no one else has a song that they sing like in the movie like Yzma does, which I thought was really interesting. Let's Groove Tonight <laughs> was a hilarious montage that I think uh, was really supposed to be like interpreted as somewhat of a sex scene. That could just be me, but really, I don't think so. I think that's what the subtext of that was supposed to be. And then them, <laughs> when Kronk thought he was gonna get the thumbs up from his dad, they were playing music from Lion King, which I thought was so funny. That took me out. Oh, hilarious, amazing. I think there's a difference between movies trying to copy every single joke from their original movie and a movie that keeps the same spirit of the first movie. And I think this movie does a really good job of keeping the same spirit. They do do a lot of similar things from the first one, but it's stuff that would make sense that would be the same versus just like repeating the same jokes. They do have like, you know, like Yzma's got like a pull a lever moment, but she says pull a lever and he's like, uh, and she's like, I fixed out all the bugs. I fixed all the bugs or whatever. And he's like, oh, okay. So then he pulls the lever and they have it and they did a little bit different of a roller coaster ride. So like they did the same thing, but like it made sense for her to have a new secret lair or whatever, secret lab, whatever she calls it. Uh, it wasn't like, oh, they're just doing all the same stuff in the first one. And I would say they weren't, uh, but they did keep the same spirit as in like <laughs> Cusco when Cusco's finally introduced. Not finally, he, it's pretty early. Um, he's like a 50 foot me, like breaking the fourth wall and everything. It killed me. And then every time Cusco does like interrupt the movie, it feels very much like when Cusco interrupted his own movie in the first one, which I liked that they kept the same like style and format. Um, to keep it tied to the original instead of just going a completely different direction. I will absolutely say this movie has way more adult jokes than the first one. The first one I feel like really did a great job of capturing humor that was just funny for everyone no matter what. And I'm pretty sure that's something I commented on and praised. This one definitely banks on a lot of adult humor. You know, it pushed even more into like the Yzma being gross because she's an old woman thing, which I wasn't crazy about. Like, you know, she says, I have a proposition for you to Kronk and he goes, ugh. And she goes, a business proposition. And he goes, oh. And then they like make a comment again about her lifting her thing, her dress. And they make a comment about her having like unshaved armpits, which I think is stupid. Um... So I'm not crazy about the jokes at like Yzma being old, so that's automatically gross and ugly expense. Um, and then there were like some other like heavy sexual or adult jokes mixed in there, but none of them were like so inappropriate besides like the, I got a proposition for you that I was like as annoyed as like Valiant, where Valiant was just like outwardly sexual. This, it was jokes that was like, oh, <laughs> like it could be funny for kids just being said the way it was said. And then there's a double meaning that's like funny for an adult. Um, 
And then another part that got me, that made me laugh so much is when Kronk is like falling for Miss Birdwell. <laughs> he likes her feet, knees, and her feet, knees, elbows, and eyes. <laughs> Which made me laugh. I thought that was cute. And then I did get emotional when his dad gave him the thumbs up and he was like, I don't have all those things you want me to have, but I have all of these people, I have everything. Um, I got kind of emotional, I thought that was very sweet. I had never seen this and the very beginning of it did give me hope that it was gonna be in the same spirit and funny. And it was, I do have <laughs> um, the It's a Small World reference during Yzma's little like roller coaster to her secret lab made me laugh. The Lord of the Rings reference with like Rudy getting like Schmeagol and Gollum about the uh, youth potion, that was amazing. The stag reel moment, uh, the whole Let's Group Tonight scene. And then in that Let's Group Tonight scene, <laughs> Um, Kronk gets like a, a bedazzled sparkly glove like Michael Jackson, which I thought was funny. Um, and as I said, I'm not crazy about the jokes at Eastman's expense, but there were a lot of like funny moments in this, even if like they weren't inappropriate, like the Lord of the Rings reference or the It's a Small World reference or like pull the lever, Kronk, uh, I fixed, I worked out all the bugs. Like, you know, like that's that kind of stuff, like referencing and all that kind of stuff was funny. And every Cusco moment coming in and like <laughs> making jokes about himself and everything was really great and the like ex the extent to which all these people wanted to go to to help Kronk with his dad was so beautiful and I love that so much and that was really funny too. That's it, that's everything I have for Kronk's new groove. I will say I did enjoy this. I thought it was a really fun time, but it's not, you know, it's, I think it's wor not worse. It's weaker than the first one. The first one is just all around. So my final rating for this is six oven mitts out of 10. Our total movie count is. Parent Dots and Crack Count are still the same. If you want to keep up with the movie on watching when, follow me on Instagram. Which do you find out what movie I'm watching when? I put up videos every Monday and Friday and sometimes Wednesday. Join Patreon. Uh, I got a tier starting at just $1 where you get uh, every video a week early and a coupon code for merch. Buy merch. You can't buy this one anymore. It was limited edition for 500, which we're, com we're coming up on 700. That's can't deal with that. I was limited edition for 500, which was actually Emperor's New Groove. So I wore it in the spirit. But go buy merch. That isn't this. <laughs> Until next time, comment, like, subscribe, and I'm not in charge of your life. You are, so you and don't be Yzma about it. All right. That's that, friends. Ready? Should we turn this off on camera? Ba, ba, ba. Bye-bye.